نعم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على ملا نبي بعد سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه وكل من تبعه إلى يوم الدين آمين نعم الله سبحانه وتعالى said in سورة الزخرف بعد عوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الأخلاء يومئذ بعدهم لبعض عدو إلا المتقين الأخلاء two friends يومئذ بعدهم لبعض عدو the day the day that بعدهم لبعض عدو most of them would become enemies to each other إلا المتقون except the Muttaqeen, except the steadfast ones, the ones that are steadfast on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this day we're talking about is the day of Yawm al-Qiyamah. What this verse is also trying to tell us is that, okay, if you um, establish a friendship with someone and the main purpose of that friendship is for things other than because of Allah. Like you and your friend reminding yourselves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On that day of Yom Al-Qiyamah, both of you are going to turn enemies. In the common um, hadith, the seven people that are going to be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on Yom Al-Qiyamah, one of them is two friends that come together and depart for the sake of Allah. So it is very, very important for us to know the kind of friends we keep. Very important. We have to keep friends that will constantly um, make us remember Allah. And when we see the friends, we just have that remembrance of Allah in our heart. That's kind of Allah. Remember the punishments of Allah. And we try as much as possible to always go, do good deeds whenever you see the friend because like you're you are not praying yeah your friend prays a lot if you see your friend praying you also reflect that and Allah why aren't I praying and my friend here is praying so you can now start praying and doing other good deeds like fasting and um, the head dude. Let me continue with the verse. الأخلاء يوم إذ بعدهم البعد عدو إلى المتقين. يا عبادي لا خوف عليكم اليوم ولا أنتم تحزنون. Allah سبحانه وتعالى said, يا عبادي, O oh my servants, لا خوف عليكم اليوم. Verily, you shall not be scared on that day. There shall not be, no, there shall be no fear for you on that day. ولا أنتم تحزنون. No. Shall you grieve? الذين آمنوا بآياتنا وكانوا مسلمين. Who are these عباد? Who are these servants that are not going to be scared on that day? الذين آمنوا بآياتنا. Those who believe in the signs of Allah سبحانه وتعالى وكانوا مسلمين and are Muslims. ودخلوا الجنة أنتم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is will tell the believing men and women enter al jannah you and your wives all of you should enter al jannah this is the beauty of Islam Alhamdulillah Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us so much for him to make us Muslims. Like he said in another verse in the Quran, Verily, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had willed, He would have made all of us one ummah, one nation. Like there will be no Christians, no Muslim, no Jews. Everybody will be one ummah, one nation. But verily, he admits 
those who he wills into his mercy. Subhanallah. And verily, the Dhalimun, the evil doers, they shall not have, they shall have no helper or somebody they can rely upon on the Amnu Qiyama. Innahu man yahdihi lahu fala mudillala. Verily, whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided, fala mudillala. Nobody can misguide him. Woman yudil fala hadiyala. And whoever he has misguided, no one can guide the person. Alhamdulillah. We as Muslims have to constantly thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for him giving us the rahmah and the blessing of being Muslims. And we should try as much as possible to always do good deeds, to always obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to stay away from the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for each and every one of us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.